I decided that today for you guys, I would give you my thoughts on YouTube Red. Um, I'm still not that great at editing videos, and my video editor doesn't like when I record video with audio, I guess. But, um, I'm just gonna say this. I don't think it's overly worth it. I'm not saying anything bad about it. If you like it, then it's good for you, I guess. But to me, I don't really think it's worth it because it's like 10 bucks a month. And that can add up pretty fast. Because you can pay $120 just for YouTube each year. Um, and most of the ads you can usually skip. Or are less than 20 seconds. Or just around 20 seconds. And the main thing that I really, the only thing that I really truly liked about YouTube Red was that you could play um, videos when you were didn't have YouTube actually open. You just had it like on. I don't know, just didn't really have, just had the app open, but in the background. Which was nice when I was listening to music, but I still don't really think it's worth it. Because I can just download music, or get music that I want to listen to. I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, don't get me wrong, but to me it's just not truly worth it. I mean, you can see for yourself if you'd like it, and if it's worth 10 bucks a month. But, that's totally up to you. Because... I mean, they gave a free trial if you download the YouTube Music app. And I did that. I didn't particularly like the YouTube Music app at all. Didn't really like YouTube Red. It just not worth it. I feel like I should do more, like do my thoughts on other things, kind of like YouTube Red. Cause YouTube Red, um, I didn't even like the shows that they gave you for YouTube Red. They weren't that good. They were kind of boring. Netflix is better. You get like way more shows and stuff, and it's shows that you would actually watch, and shows you may be interested in, or even Hulu, or Amazon TV, stuff like that would be a much better idea than going on getting YouTube Red. Also, I tried Pandora 1. It was, eh, just got rid of the ads. And I don't really care about the ads on there. Just kind of ignore them, zone them out. Every now and then I'll actually find an interesting ad. That's one way I actually found Wish. Um, that was really all it did. Gave you more skips, but it wasn't really worth it. Um, also, I don't really like Spotify, and I especially don't really like the paid Spotify me membership, I don't know what it's called, because my Spotify has this problem to where it's stuck on, um, Shuffle if I don't have the membership, which is just bad. It loses, rep like, just... I loved it for a while. It was great listening to music while I was playing a game on the PlayStation 4. Because it's one of the only music apps that the PlayStation 4 has. It's the only one that will play music while you're playing a game. And, yeah. I, I just don't like Spotify anymore. It was only really worth it for the premium Spotify, I guess, but... 
I just don't want to pay for that if it's just going to keep me on shuffle if I don't pay for it. So is it really worth it? No. Um, also, I did try PlayStation Plus. I think that's worth it, yeah. That's totally worth it. Because you get free games every month. You get other free stuff that regular members don't. Which is not the best thing that I like about it, but... And my least favorite thing that they did with the PlayStation 4 is how they made it to where you can only play online with PlayStation Plus, which is kind of stupid. So... If you guys want to try any of these, there are usually ways to try like maybe 14 day, like 2 week trial, or a month trial. Usually the month trials require you to edit a credit card, but I wouldn't trust it. So yeah, I've been recording on my phone recently, so just to make the the audio and the video a little better because my microphone on my laptop will actually like kind of go out and then come back in so yeah if you haven't noticed I've had my cat with me the whole video he just wouldn't stop so I just let him sit on my lap um I think that's it yeah um, I have yet to try other things, but I just don't like these premium memberships all that much. And I have to say this, Final Fantasy XIV was fun and all, but it's just not worth how much it is. It's just too expensive. I mean, it's a fun game, don't get me wrong. It's really fun. But, it's just not worth it. I've had... RPGs that are way better than that and it's played for free. One of them actually, Fiesta, has actually opened their servers back up, which is amazing. Me and my sister used to play that quite a bit, actually. So, I'm sorry this turned from YouTube Red to other things, but I just didn't want to make separate videos because each of my thoughts aren't like that long. I still don't really think YouTube Red is worth it. I mean, some of the videos can be kind of cool, but they're just not worth it. If you see any videos that you might want to see that are for YouTube Red only, then go ahead, get the free membership for by downloading YouTube Music app. But to me, it's just not worth it to buy. Ten dollars a month. What were you thinking, YouTube? Trying to be in on the Netflix? By adding your- making your own original shows? I mean, I think I would like it if- I think I would like it a little bit more if you can actually watch some of the, um, if you can- like watch some of the movies and TV shows that they have up that you can watch if you purchase them basically through Google like my Lord of the Rings movie that I got for free I can watch through YouTube or Google movies but just that kind of stuff that for YouTube Red that would be a good idea it would actually make it a little more like Netflix which might make Netflix a little mad but it would give it a little more variety they already have those movies up. I know. I feel like they shouldn't. They should be able to. I don't know. I don't feel like they should be able to own them, like the people who watch them on YouTube Red. I feel like it should be a periodical thing. Like these movies are available for YouTube Red users for free for a while, and then they switch out. I feel like that would be kind of cool. Just to make sure it's not exactly like 
Netflix or Hulu or stuff like that. And if YouTube wants to go in that direction, then I say let it. I just don't really care all that much about YouTube Red or Pandora one wasn't that bad, but just to me it's not worth it. Spotify altogether, I don't really like it. I think it's my it's my least favorite music app to really listen to. Um, playlist was pretty good until they changed it into something like Pandora. It was really stupid. I love building my own playlist. Which, that was really fun. I love doing that so much. Um, I think, I think it's shut down by now. Also, 8-Tracks is another good one. You don't really see what's coming next on the playlist, but, um, a lot of people actually, um, share the music lists on social media. It's like, most of the ones I've listened to, I've found around Tumblr at some point, even if before or after. I actually listened to it. I'm sorry if you heard the TV at the beginning of this video. I forgot to turn it off. But, um, from now on, I'll be mainly recording from my phone. Unless I'm doing gameplay recordings. And, seriously guys, if you want a Dragon Age 2 playthrough while... I'm trying to get the Mass Effect one to work. I can do that. Or maybe if I can find a camera that's good enough, I'll try to record it the old fashioned way, I guess. I'm sorry it won't be very good quality, but it's better than nothing. And I'm sorry again. I know some of you were looking forward to it. I'll try to find something to do. It works fine if I don't have a something recording it. It only really crashes when something's recording it. Which is kinda stupid. It crashed when I was trying to do a live stream and crashed when I was doing a different kind of live stream with while well, my friend was helping me make sure it works. It just crashed when the cutscene started playing. Um it crashed when I tried recording before the Dragon Age two video. So, yeah, I can do Dragon Age 2, I'll try the Ma Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3. If those don't work, then I don't know how I'm going to do those two. Because the first one I could probably, then, um, they might not, I'm serious, they might not be the best quality, but I'm trying to figure something out for you guys. Maybe I'll hook it up. To the TV, hook my laptop up to the TV and set up the camera in front of the TV and just start playing. Maybe that'll work. Because then, if I set up for the camera into looking at it, it won't be as bad. Because I have a tripod and a camera somewhere. But I'll try to find them, see how, mo how well they work test it out. If it's not too bad, I'll start it up and get going. Um, yeah. And I'm sorry in advance if I somehow knock cameras over while I'm recording, because I can be kind of a klutz. That's why, I'm, that's why when I'm recording, I'm usually like sitting still. And, yeah. Um, but yeah, until I find the camera and the tripod, I'll be using my phone camera for a while. The laptop camera isn't very good. The laptop microphone isn't very good. But, um, I can use my laptop to prop my camera, my phone up, so I can actually record better. So, yeah. Um, that's basically it, but... Just let me know what you guys want. I'm going to try to find the tripod and the camera. See how well that works. I don't remember if the camera has a microphone on it or not. 
so yeah thanks again for watching i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i hope to see you again bye